No. Uh, well, I um, I actually deal with all the discovery here, so you came to the right person. Oh, okay. Um, and I think I'm familiar with this case. Um, we we require a twenty five dollar prepayment before we can give out any electronic discovery, and and I know I haven't received that yet. But we I send out discovery to um alleged defendants all the time, and I have no problem doing so. Um, we just have to cross all our teeth and dot all our eyes before we do so. Um, oh, okay. So so in other words. Some, so in other words, you're you're willfully refusing to comply with the order granting in form apoperis for poor black falsely accused James Campbell that was issued on five fifteen twenty eighteen. That's what you're saying, right? Um, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Okay, Friday, May twenty fifth, twenty eighteen, eight forty six a.m. Calling the city of Brooklyn Park City Attorney Michael J. Kolich. Thank you for calling Coolidge and Associates. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it at any time. To speak with an attorney, press 1. If you are calling with a Brooklyn Park discovery question, press 2. For attorney Michael Coolidge, press 3. For City of Brooklyn Park uh, City Attorney Michael Kolich. This is Terry Nemers, 320-283-5713. It's May 25th, 2018, 8.47 a.m. Uh, just trying to figure out if uh, you're going to be kind, courteous, and helpful enough to send uh, poor black falsely accused James Campbell uh, his evidence today, you know, elect electronically transfer this in evidence to him, or, or you're going to dismiss the case today, you know, prior to the Memorial Day weekend. Seeing so, uh, it's a matter of the public record that uh, your uh, court system has electronically transferred uh, poor black falsely accused James Campbell electronic data in regards to your case, and you know magically, mysteriously, you willfully refuse to do that to poor black falsely accused James Campbell. You willfully refuse to give him his evidence, and uh, you know the this Eric Davidson, the officer of the court. Uh, electronically transferred uh, poor black falsely accused James Campbell a transcript of the hearing in which your uh, city attorney assistant city attorney is illegally withholding his evidence from him and uh, this is what poor black falsely accused uh, Campbell tells to the judicial officer there excuse me and then I had a call from deputy chief Bruley from the Brooklyn Park Police Department threatening me over the telephone last week telling me that he personally told all city council members not to talk to poor black James Campbell. Oh, and by the way, I do have an audio recording of poor black falsely accused James Campbell and myself communicating with your Beth Toll here just the other day. Here we go. Uh, with regards to that incident that he came to report, the theft of his $28,000. And also, um, we wanted you to read um, See, here we go. See now, so this is the thing, you know, Beth was forced to acknowledge the receipt of my personnel complaint. Uh, she's, we, she's also been informed that your chief Envoltson willfully refuses to give poor black falsely accused James Campbell the public portion or the you know the public portion of his initial criminal complaint which of course proves that poor black falsely accused James Campbell is the victim and Joseph Timothy Noonan is the perpetrator of the crime the false accuser there so so uh, you know again are, are you gonna give poor black falsely accused James Campbell his evidence or dismiss the case this weekend because because if not I think what we're gonna do is uh, contact your city council members even though James received that threatening letter uh, in the mail certified uh, instead of his readily available free electronic information. Uh, and of course, you know, we're going to inform the, the city council members that poor black falsely accused James Campbell has 
forwarded that information to media outlets and the Society of Professional Journalists for Minnesota. So, so that's the thing. You know, maybe you should just cut your losses and uh, give poor black James Campbell his information and drop the case. How about that? Terry Nemers, 320-283-5713. You have a super weekend. I know I will. Bye now. Okay, May 25th, 2018, 8.51 a.m. calling Brooklyn Park Chief of Police Craig Edenvoldson. Chief Envelson, this is Terry Nemers, 320-283-5713. It's Friday, May 25th, 2018, 8.52 a.m. Just want to know if you're going to uh, send poor black falsely accused James Campbell the public portion of his initial criminal complaint that he filed with your your uh, Brooklyn Park Police Department, you know, in which he's uh, filed the formal complaint uh, against Joseph Timothy Noonan for second-degree felony assault harassment. Uh, false imprisonment and filing a false police report on 4-3-18. You know, the, the, the public portion of the initial criminal complaint, which would prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that poor black falsely accused James Campbell is the victim of malicious prosecution in your case number 27CR189316. I just left a message with your Brooklyn Park City Attorney Michael Kolich, in which I told him that, uh, uh, that your local court the Hennepin County uh, Court sent poor black falsely accused James Campbell a transcript of uh, a hearing in which uh, your uh, bro uh, your city apart uh, uh, city attorney assistant city attorney Grossman was admitting that she was illegal withholding evidence from poor black falsely accused James Campbell and uh, according to the testimony in court poor black falsely accused James Campbell told the judicial officer it says excuse me and then I had a call from Deputy Chief Brulee from the Brooklyn Park Police Department threatening me over the phone last week telling me that he personally told all the city council members not to talk to poor black James Campbell so you know I know you sent that harassing and threatening letter to poor black James Campbell poor black falsely accused James Campbell you know uh, threatening him if he contacted the uh, city council members again, that you know you're going to have him falsely arrested or something like that. So, so anyhow, uh, just so you know that poor black falsely accused James Campbell has contacted the media. He has sent that threatening letter off to the media, uh, and he has audio recordings with uh, you know members, uh, you know uh, members of the media and the Society of Professional Journalists. So, just so you know, uh, you know if you try to retaliate against him, that uh, you know. Poor black falsely accused James Campbell has evidence of your previous history of harassment. So, uh, are you going to send poor black falsely accused James Campbell as evidence today, or or, or not? You know, because I'm thinking maybe you should just cut your losses and drop these malicious charges prior to the prior to the Memorial Day weekend. Because you know, I'm thinking that we're going to make some calls this weekend and inform the city council members of your criminal activity. Well, anyhow, Terry numbers three two zero two eight three five seven one three. You have a super weekend. I know I will. Bye now. Okay, Friday, May 25th, 2018, 8.58 a.m., calling City of Brooklyn Park Assistant City Attorney Amanda Jo Grossman. Thank you for calling College and Associates. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it at any time. To speak with an attorney, press 1. If you are calling with a Brooklyn Park discovery question, press 2. For attorney Michael Kolich, press 3. For attorney Andrew Small, press 4. For attorney Samuel Kolich, press 5. For attorney Amanda Grossman, press 6. Right now, please leave your name, 
number and a brief message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, simply hang up or press pound for further options. Uh, city, uh, Assistant City Attorney Amanda Grossman, this is Terry Nemers, 320-283-5713. Uh, I just received uh, the transcript of your harassment of poor black falsely accused James Campbell uh, in case number uh, 27CR189316, which you're making some wild and outrageous claims that you can charge indigent poor black falsely accused James Campbell for uh, uh, his electronically... Uh, readily available for electronic information, which you're currently illegally withholding from him. So, first of all, let me, let's cut to the chase here. Do you plan on dismissing this case today, before this weekend, you know, because you're illegally withholding his evidence, or, or you're just going to continue with this farce? Because uh, I have a transcript here in which you're uh, making some wild and outrageous claims. You can charge indigent, poor black, falsely accused James Campbell, and uh, this is uh, quite convenient because uh, there's a new ruling advisory opinion, 18. 18-005, which says, irregardless what the court rules say, that the county attorney has to comply with the Minnesota Data Practice Act. So you, you can jump, you and your judge can jump back and forth on that all you want, but the, the law says that you got to give poor black false accused James Campbell, which of course you're illegal withholding. I have a copy of the, the harassing letter you sent him, which you, you give him the paper documents, but not the electronic information. So, uh, you know, uh, of course, and then I have the, the harassing letter that you sent you know, through your chief uh, envelopes and to threaten uh, poor black falsely accused James Campbell uh, not to contact the city council members anymore. Of course, that was sent to the media and poor black falsely accused James Campbell as recordings with media slash society professional journalist members. So, so that's the situation. You know, because uh, uh, the plan is that, you know, if you don't drop the cases, or don't drop the, the case or, or give poor black falsely accused James Campbell as evidence today that, uh, you know, calls are going to be made to the city council members. And you can press as many false charges as you want because it's a matter of the court record that you have a history of harassing and illegally withholding evidence from poor black falsely accused James Campbell. So you, you just have a super and wonderful weekend because I know I will. Bye now. Okay, let's uh, call Kolich and Associates. Let's see if we can get uh, talk to someone. Thank you for calling Kolich and Associates. Friday, May 25th, you know 2018, 902 at any time. To speak with an attorney, press 1. If you are calling with a Brooklyn Park Discovery question, press 2. For attorney Michael Kolich, press 3. For attorney Andrew Small, press 4. For attorney Samuel Kolich, press 5. For attorney Amanda Grossman, press 6. For attorney Adrian Montes, press 7. Nothing has been selected. Thank you for calling Kolich and Associates. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it at any time. To speak with an attorney, press 1. If you are calling with a Brooklyn Park Discovery question, press 2. <phone rings> Associates, yeah, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Super, can't complain on a beautiful, sunshiny day like today. <laughs> it is nice out. Yeah, it sure is. Say, I'm uh, calling about uh, a case here. It's case number 27CR189316. It's uh, okay. poor black falsely accused James Campbell. And uh, I have a transcript from the 514... 2018 hearing in which uh, your uh, city attorney Grossman has come up with some wild and outrageous uh, excuses why she's illegally withholding readily available free electronic information from poor black falsely accused James Campbell. And, uh, Are you his attorney? No, I'm not. I, I, I helped him expose the city of Brooklyn Park illegal withholding his readily available information for the theft of $28,000. And I've contacted the chief judge and the, the judge in this case about the harassment that he's, the poor black falsely accused James Campbell's been receiving from your firm there because they don't, in the city of Brooklyn Park, because they don't want to, they want to keep poor black falsely accused James Campbell out of the, out of the age of technology. No. Uh, well, I, um, I actually deal with all the discovery here, so you came to the right person. Oh, okay. Um, and I think I'm from 
familiar with this case, um, we we require a twenty-five dollar prepayment before we can give out any electronic discovery, and and I know I haven't received that yet, but we I send out discovery to um, alleged defendants all the time, and I have no problem doing so. Um, we just have to cross all our teeth and dot all our eyes before we do so. Um, oh, okay. So, so in other words. Some- so in other words, you're, you're willfully refusing to comply with the order granting in form of papyrus for poor black falsely accused James Campbell that was issued on 5-15-2018. That's what you're saying, right? Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I said you're willfully refusing to comply with the order granting in form of papyrus for poor black falsely accused James Campbell that was issued by Judicial Officer Janice Redding. Is that what you're saying? They did, they did that order. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not aware of the order. I've just yeah, I, 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 I'm looking at the public record right now, and I have the transcript in which poor black falsely accused James Campbell went under oath stating that he was indigent. So I, I'm not trying to figure out how you are demanding a, a charge when uh, it's determined by the your judicial officers that he's indigent. You understand what the term indigent means, don't you? Um, yes, sir. I am in law school, so I am aware. Um, oh, okay. So, I, so in other words, you're, you're a wannabe lawyer, is what you're saying. Okay. Actually, um, you have to go through three years of law school before you can be an attorney and then pass the bar, so I'm in the process of doing so. I cannot be an attorney until I do pass that bar, so I have been clerking here for three years um, while I'm in law school. Um, and will be an attorney when I finish, but there's no way for me to be an attorney until I pass that bar. Well, so you will be when you finish. You mean after you successfully complete all the the licensing requirements, you you may be an attorney, right? So, well, that's so, so I, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you about what your training is. Well, the, I mean, the reality the reality is sir. The, sir, the you rea- call me a wannabe attorney, so I'm not going to allow you to offend me over the phone. There's no such thing as a wannabe attorney. I'm in the process of becoming one. So I'm not going to pretend that I am an attorney, and I'm not going to say that I am one until I am one. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, maybe what I should do is send a, record, a copy of this recording I'm making of you right now to the licensing board, and maybe you won't become an attorney. How about that? For what reason, sir? Excuse me? Uh, what what reason would make me not become licensed based well, on Well, because call? you're willfully refusing to comply with the judicial order granting uh, poor black falsely accused James Campbell in form of papyrus. You're demanding a $25 fee when the when the judicial officer says that he's indigent. You, you see well, what I'm I saying? I have not been, I, I, I informed you, I have not been aware of the um, You're not aware? Yet because you said you're aware? I, you are in sir, charge of discovery. Finish, please, because you're interrupting me and I'm trying to explain to you what's going on here. I have not been made, uh, made aware of the order yet. I am simply a clerk. I am not an attorney. So the attorney's job is to let me know I have not gotten an update yet, and the Brooklyn Park attorney is in court today at Brooklyn Park. So she is not here for me to go right now and ask. She's in court. So I am simply explaining to you that I have not been made aware of this order. If there is an order, I have zero issue sending any person discovery of their own case. That is something that I will never have an issue with, and I do not at this time. Well, it's, the thing is, it's been a matter. To that right, it's, I will it's, most it's, definitely make sure that it is in the hands of him. I just have to make sure on my end that you, I get that notice from the attorney. Do, are you, are, do you have a, a, an account for Odyssey for Minnesota courts? I do. Oh, I do. So, then, so then you can look up case number 27CR189316, and I'm sure you would have access to the transcript that's there, the order granting in form of papyrus, the supplemental affidavit for proceeding in form of papyrus, and uh, all sorts of information for this case. See, so to, to say that you have no clue what's going on, of course, is no, ridiculous. No, 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 I'm not saying I have no clue. I need to have an okay from the attorney before I send anything oh, else. Oh, so in other words, the, the, the city attorney... Because I am not the, an attorney. The city attorney overrules the judicial orders. So that, see, now now it makes a perfect sense why poor black no, also accused James no, Campbell you're, you're is, is not receiving. you're making things um, sound different than they are. All I'm saying is that that's the case, and it sounds like it is. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I just need to have an attorney look at me in the face and say, hey, send this discovery out. So in other words, she can't call you or text you or email you. She has to look you in the face. Is that what you're saying? Because because I have I'm I sorry, have. What is your role here? Because if you're I an attorney, have, what is your role here? I, I have to ask you that because I have I'm having a, a conversation with you about a defendant, and I don't know who you are. 
I already explained who I am. My name is Terry Nemers. I am helping poor black falsely accused James Campbell. But how I, are you helping him? Are you uh, an, I you're am an attorney? In, I am in possession of a May 15, 2018 letter signed by your city attorney, Amanda J. Grossman, which I'm sure you're well your aware of. what is your job title? It says, him? in compliance with my assertion in court yesterday, enclosed, please find enclosed all paper discovery for the above reference case. Paper discovery? Yes, exactly. Things, Chad Oregon with the Brooklyn Park Police is working on co mm -hmm. compiling the electronic discovery, as I yeah. stated yesterday. This is not a quick process. Actually, it is. And additionally, it's not, as, sir. It's not actually. Have you done this before? Yeah, actually, actually, I've recorded numerous conversations with people no, no, just no, like not, you. No, 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 not recording. I'm asking, have you ever um, obtained electronic discovery from the police department before? Uh, I've assisted numerous people getting their electronic information from law enforcement agencies. In a okay, few, in so a few, it's not in my, I have to get the discs from Chad Oregon at the police department before I can mail them out. I don't have them in my office. We don't work at the police department. We're in a firm downtown Minneapolis. Well, We're I'm, not in Brooklyn Park. Uh, I'm well aware how e-filing e works and e-charging works. You electronically transfer information that's attached to an ICR, so all they do is electronically transferred to you, they don't have to send it on disks, and you can easily electronically transfer this information to falsely accused poor black James Campbell today if you want to, but you don't want to, because no, the city the I city said. of Brooklyn Park's policy and procedure manual for data practice clearly indicates electronic transfer of data, which has been submitted to your judge for the judicial officer for this case, Dickstein. So you can run around the Mulberry Bush as many times as you want. This I don't know why you are making it seem as if um, just because we're a prosecuting office that we don't want to help. Do you know that our office also does private defense work? We do uh, I, I, so I, I, for couldn't, you to, I couldn't care for you, less. Well, no, I'm just explaining to you that I don't want you to be under the impression that just because our office is a prosecuting office that we don't care about um, defendants or what happens to them or if they receive their discovery because we actually care very greatly and we have a lot of private defense cases that come out of this office. So I don't want you to be under the impression that we don't care whether he gets his discovery or not because personally I can't speak for everyone else, so personally I care very much about someone getting the help he needs, especially if he doesn't have the money to afford it himself. So oh. I don't want that to be... Um, misconstrued for any other way. I'm simply asking what your job title is because I can't give out confidential information on a defendant if you're not his attorney. So I just don't know what your role here is. I know you're helping him, um, and that's great, but I just don't know what your job title is exactly. Uh, did I say I had a job title? And I'm going to read you the current advisory opinion from uh, iPad. No, no, no. Sir, can you answer my question, please? I already did. Anyhow, no, no, you did not. No, I already, you did not. I'm asking how you're involved in this case because I can't give confidential information. I did, did, I ask, did, I, did I ask for any confidential information? No, I did not. Well, I can't give you any information on this case necessarily because you're not his attorney. I never you're said that I did, did I say that I was? I'm, I'm going to read you the advisory opinion here against Carver County Attorney a county attorney uh, for illegal withholding readily available free electronic information from a it's defendant. It's not free though, sir. It's not free. Uh, this is, uh, it, it is to indigent, poor black false accused James Campbell, and according to state statute, all data is free. You, you, well, I understand that, but we have certain okay. regulations so, that we don't so anyhow, the, 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 the point those. is, I'm this not is... I'm in charge of enforcing them. I just have to follow the rules. I also have a job to do here, sir, and I am making sure that I do everything the right way possible. So like I said, as soon as I hear from the attorney that I can send those, I will most definitely send them to you. I have no problem doing that. It's just I got to get uh, why, would, why would you send it to I'm me? I'm not going to lose my job. Why would you send it to me? I never asked you to send it to me. I, I want to know if you're going to send it to poor black false accused James Campbell. You know what I'm referring Campbell. to, sir? Well, and I'm referring to the defendant, Mr. Campbell, here. I, I'm going to read you. To this him. is what it says. Carver County did no, not sir, respond to appropriately to a March 14, 2018 data from request from a data subject because it did not provide access to the data within so 10 I'm business day pursuant to Minnesota statute right section 13.04 sign Matthew Masson, Massman Commissioner a uh, day, April, day April 21st 2018 okay Friday May 25th 2018 921 a.m. calling Hennepin County Chief Judicial Officer Ivy Bernhardson
Judge Ivy Bernardson. I can't take your call. Please contact my assistant, Emily Brower, if this is urgent. Her number is 612-348-7759. Thank you. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Chief Judicial Officer Ivy Burhardson, this is Terry Nemers, 320-283-5713. I'm calling you about uh, the case for poor black falsely accused James Campbell, case number 27CR189316, in which uh, poor black falsely accused James Campbell on 5-15-2018 uh, was ordered, uh, has an order granting him in form of papyrus 5-15-2018. 2018 supplemental affidavit for proceeding in the form of papyrus and uh, you know he just received some electronic data from one of your court officials for this transcript for the hearing that he had on uh, on uh, on uh, May 14 2018 you know which uh, poor black false accused James Campbell put it on the court record that he's been you know receiving harassing phone calls from the city of Brooklyn Park over this information so here's here's one of your officers of the court from uh, Brooklyn Park City Attorney Michael Kolich's office demanding $25 for poor black falsely accused James Campbell's uh, evidence who's indigent because they don't uh, in the city of Brooklyn Park because they don't want to they want to keep poor black falsely accused James Campbell out of the out of the age of technology. No. Uh, well, I um, I actually deal with all the discovery here, so you came to the right person. Oh. Okay. Um, and I think I'm familiar with this case. Um, we we require a twenty five dollar prepayment before we can give out any electronic discovery. And see, so so this is the thing: indigent, poor, black, falsely accused James Campbell is uh, is evidence is being held hostage by uh, Michael J. Kolich, the city attorney, city attorney for Brooklyn Park because uh, they want to squeeze blood out of uh, a turnip there, you know, and even though there's been judicial orders granting in form of paupers for, for falsely accused poor black James Campbell. So uh, that's the situation. Apparently they have absolutely no respect for the law nor for your orders, so, which is not surprising. Anyhow, Terry Nemers, 320-283-5713. Bye. Okay, Friday, May 25th, 2018, 9.28 a.m., calling... Uh, Hennepin County Chief Judicial Officer Heidi, uh, Ivy Bernhardson's uh, assistant, Emily Brower. This is Terry Nemers, 320-283-5713. I left a, a message with your Chief Judicial Officer Emily or, uh, Ivy Bernhardson in, in regards to case number 27CR189316. I have a recording of one of your ju judicial officers willfully refusing to comply with your judicial orders. Uh, well, actually, from the Judicial Officer Redding and uh, Dickstein, uh, uh, in regard to in the in form of papyrus status for poor black falsely accused K James Campbell in case number 27CR189316. Uh, here, I'll play it for you here. James Campbell's been receiving from your firm there because they don't, uh, in the city of Brooklyn Park, because they don't want to, they want to keep poor black falsely accused James Campbell out of the, out of the age of technology. No, uh, well, I, um, I actually deal with all the discovery here, so you can the right person. Oh, okay. um, and I think I'm familiar with this case. Um, we we require a $25 prepayment before we can give out any electronic discovery. And See, so uh, 
uh, poor black falsely accused James Campbell, who was granted in form of papyrus status, is uh, his evidence is being uh, held hostage by the city of Brooklyn, these officers of the court, uh, who you call Brooklyn Park City Attorney Michael J. Kolich, uh, you know, for a fee of $25, even though your court order clearly indicates that uh, poor black falsely accused James Campbell is uh, indigent and should be given his information for free. But, uh, in, you know, instead of dismissing this case, you know, over the, mo you know, before this Memorial Weekend comes in, you know, they're trying to harass and intimidate, you know, poor black falsely accused James Campbell of, of uh, you know, stopping, uh, stopping to get his information. So he gets falsely accused of a crime he didn't commit. And, oh, and by the way, uh, the chief of police, uh, Envilton, willfully refuses to give poor black falsely accused James Campbell the public portion of his initial criminal complaint that he filed against uh, Joseph T. Noonan, you know, the actual perpetrator of that crime on that incident. You know, the, the guy was guilty of second-degree felony assault, harassment, and false imprisonment, and filing a false police report on 4 3 18. So, so I'm sure that's the motivation for illegal withholding this readily available free electronic public information from poor black falsely accused James Campbell. Oh, by the way, poor black falsely accused James Campbell has audio recordings of him contacting the media with these, these, uh, th this harassment. And uh, so that, that's going to continue. So uh, I'm thinking maybe the smartest thing to do is dismiss this, you know, these malicious charges against poor, poor black falsely accused James Campbell or, or at least give him his evidence. How about that? Terry numbers 320-283-5713. Well, by the way, all calls were recorded. You have a great weekend. I know I will. Bye.